recording. Hey, hi, hello. How's it going? Welcome back to the darkness. Welcome back to Resident Evil for the PlayStation. Uh, apologies for the break. Last week, uh, literally ripped my CPU out of my motherboard because I bought new RAM for Prime Days, and I installed my um, my heatsink, my my cooler, my CPU cooler. Uh, I installed it backwards, so the 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 AMD part was facing to the right, so it was covering my RAM slot. So I was like, oh, let me just take it off. The whole thing basically destroyed my old CPU, ordered a new CPU, and it came in, and so put it together. There's new RAM, new CPU, but it's the same CPU as I had before, so that's why we didn't do part three last week. We're going to do part three this week. Are we going to finish it? Boy, I hope so. Otherwise, this is a painful playthrough for someone who has played, if anybody has seen, a lot of Resident Evil. So, <clears throat> without any more delay, I left you guys on a cliffhanger, I find out. Um, as we are about to descend, this is the ultimate cliffhanger. <laughs> Oh boy. You can hear it, hopefully. Now you should see it right now. Look at that. Look how good I am. Look how good I am. All right. Enough of that yelling. Apologies. Let's go down the ladder, see what's what's up. So just so I don't like completely fuck things up. Okay. Whoa, that sends us so far back. Okay. Hold on. All right, so we'll we'll fix that. I just want to see where it would send me, just in case I like accidentally load it. So, I have like two. I don't know how I'm saving in that spot. So. All right, Jill, relax. Okay, I gotta remember how to fucking play here. It's the first, like... It's the first part of every, like... Of, like, the bit of Resident Evil is always, like... Okay, how do I play again? How do I move? Because it moves so unlike every game that exists... Like today, like I've been playing. Honestly, what I've been playing. Oh. Oh, Jill. What good timing. A moment ago, I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. Yeah, we'll go with okay, Barry. Let's go. Okay. Then I'm going to cover you. Let's hurry. Hey, are you all right? I can go first if you want me to. No? Okay, let's go, Barry. I'm depending on you. It's in my inventory. Oh. This way. Okay, there's a door this way. What's oh, back this way? A hallway. Leads to another door. Alright, let's check this door first. Let me know if volume's good. That's all that is. Gotcha. What's this? Oh, I will take this first aid spray. And it's like, uh, some. Not 
picture. So I do still have the guide that I was following beforehand. Anyway, <laughs> oh, oh, is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Is that voice yeah. Enrico's? You're alive. Wait there. Are you with anybody, Jill? Barry. What? Oh, yes. Enrico. So, Barry and Jill together. Are you all right, Enrico? The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. What the fuck? Enrico! Enrico! Barry, you motherfucker. Oh, he couldn't move because of this injury. He's holding something. Yep, I'll take the clip. Barry is investigating. Okay. Yeah, he's investigating the dude he just killed. Because he's about to out him. Okay, Barry's investigating. Can I, do I just leave them? Do I just leave them? How far will it let me go before? Oh, what's this? <gasps> Another crank. Oh, those are magnum rounds. I probably need that crank more than the one that I have, but I don't know where a like inventory box is down here. Oh jeez. Oh, there's two of them. Fuck that. Fuck that entirely. Oh, fucking hell. Barry. This would be great for you to be here, Barry. <clears throat> we're back at... We're, we're back where... It's just the... Just the typewriter. Oh, I wonder if... Oh, that's probably what we need, that crank. Yeah, because that's just a... Uh... Well, actually... I think with our health the way it is, we can probably go back and use the healing items. We 
we can use the healing items to uh <clears throat> oh i went right to him okay so i can use i can heal i'll probably just use the first aid spray yeah i figured i was in danger nope So that's probably the hexagon crank. Okay. So now we know how to get around, how to get back to where we need to be. So we know it's kind of a circle then. But there's another one over here. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, I'm stuck on the corner. Okay. Woo! We got free. I might save state at the end of this room. Actually, let me... Let me uh, save state on the other side of this room. Because I don't want to put myself in a bad spot. Yeah, I'm thinking that too, Jill. Shit. Oh, there's a thing there. Music, huh? flame rounds. I don't even have the gun for that either. Oh, it crashed through the wall. Okay, I'm still fine, so let me save state again. Okay. I'll have to see what's in the corner.
Oh, that's it? That's the whole fight? Oh, shit. I guess I'll take the knife. Get these damn things away from me. Oh, and I need flame rounds to burn that, don't I? Or the lighter? Oh, no, wait. Yeah. Fuck. Is there, a, is there an item box in the cave? Shit, I gotta, I gotta go back. I gotta backtrack because I think I have to like use some some shit for that, for whatever that is. So let's go back up. Let's also, uh, before we go back up the, uh, yeah, we need. I need to use those. Um, so we need to do this because we've beaten. That was all right. That was a couple magnum shots and that spider was gone okay we're still here so that's good to know because I feel like I'm backtracking for the right reason Oh, I can use the the knife for it. Okay. All right. So let's just. Okay. I can use the knife. I just needed to exit. And I just needed to reload the room. Oops. Wrong way. Okay. I thought I needed to burn it. I, I guess I didn't even think that I could just knife it. Now I have absolutely no healing. So great. I don't know what we're in for here. All right, so we have two doors. And Jill's faster with the knife. Here's how we solved that. Just in case one of these decisions is bad. So let's see. This is the uh, door number one. Okay, there's an elevator down or up. I guess I'm not quite sure. Nothing that way. And then this way. saw that there was a crank hole. Okay. I feel 
feel like I'm gonna need that. I wonder if I can't drop the cranks because of yeah I need to fire those two shots if I want to pick that up see what's in the uh, let's see what's in the other side of the hall because maybe I can use actually let's see if we can I don't wanna... okay we, we at least know okay let's just see where this goes See where this goes. We're gonna be outside. It's like a thing that moves. So this is the whole thing. Some herbs and this fountain. Okay. Let's go back in here and we'll see uh, all right more snakes a lot more snakes so many more snakes holy shit so many snakes okay oh what a good room what a good room. All right. Um, I would rather backtrack to get the Eagle Medal than to like need to come. What's this? Incribbin? Incribbin. No, because we are a safe stadium. So we're good. was a great room. F2. All right, now let's go back and let's pick up that disk drive. Or that floppy disk, I should say, that disk drive. I feel like MO disk.
Seems to be a startup desk. Let's keep spinning this thing. I don't know. Something just... I don't know if these two things are connected, so let's see. <clears throat> um, if I'm really not figuring it out, we'll go to the guide, but I just want to see if they're connected. Okay. So that makes me think I need the eagle disc. And a round hollow. I guess let's go back and get the disc. Or the eagle medallion or whatever it's called. Boy, remember when I said I wouldn't mind I'd rather backtrack to go find that? Jesus Christ. That was fast. <laughs> If I'd seen that the first time around, that would have been cool, but we didn't. But hey, that led us to finding the uh, the uh, storage, which led us to... Which led us to uh, picking up the floppy disk, the startup disk, so... put this let's swap this with the metal or should we I think we should keep the disc on this Sorry if you heard that. Made some uh, steak fajitas for dinner tonight. With some uh, onions and peppers. Pretty good. Pretty good. Highly recommend. I got a um, stainless steel skillet. Or a stainless steel pan. So I'm trying to cook with it more just to kind of get used to how it goes. Just because I think, oh, that's it. It took it. Okay. Huh.
I was that close. All right. That just brings it out. So we have to move the statue in front of that. Pushed it away from the wall. Is there a thing here? find the thing. And that's my wolf metal. Gotcha. Look at us go. We're doing the thing. Grab just a green herb. Let me grab two green herbs. I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should go back, put away the crank. Yeah, let's go back and put away the crank and we'll grab two green herbs, combine them into a thing and do the thing. That way we can have an extra inventory spot and we have extra healing if we need it. I 
and it's probably the closest we'll be that will knowingly be to a item box for a while. I don't want to trade it for something. So that'll give us a double heal. That'll, uh, that'll give us our second heal, and then, um, yeah, we'll be able to. Uh, Cannot sit and wait with all the snacks. With all the slippery little snacks. I really hope I don't need the blue herb. Uh, let's do a save state right here. Just in case. So if this proves to be a very bad decision. Um, actually, hold on. Let me let's do a save state this way. Um... That way I can keep doing save states and I don't have to, like, worry if, like, this was a bad decision or not because I can just come back. And if I don't need that state, then we're fine. I can, I don't have to worry about overriding it. So, see where we go. Oh, do I need to still do something here? Down we go. All right. So we have a door and a ladder. Let's see if we can go in the door. Plate on the right hand side. Okay. So I think what we have will uh, let us open the door. That CD-ROM. Or the floppy disk or whatever it is. Okay, we got an item box. So let's drop. Let's drop uh, that extra heal. Um, let's drop the first aid spray. I'm gonna check this desk. All right, I got a second one. Do this and then go down the stairs. Let's reload, or yeah, let's reload our weapon. The fuck was that looking thing? Check what these double doors are. Okay. Let's 
Let's check this first door. Researcher's letter. June 8th, 1998. Dear Ada. Ada, by the time you read this, I'll be something different. Today's test turned out to be positive, just as I expected. I feel like going crazy when I think about becoming one of them. Ada, you're not infected, and I hope you never will be. In case you're the last one left, take the material in the visual data room and go to the power room to operate the triggering system before you escape. And make all this public through the media. If everything is in order, all the locks can be opened by the security system. You can access the system if you log in with my name from the terminal in the small lab and enter the password. The password is your name. Okay, let me write that down. <laughs> that might be important to remember. So the uh, user is this dude. Password is Ada. To unlock the door at B2, uh, where the visual data room is located, you'll need to access with our names first and then enter another password. Okay, so this is John. John and Ada. And then... John, Ada. And... I've written the code below. I'm sure you'll understand it easily. Yep, totally understand that easily. And this is my last hope. If you find me completely changed, please kill me yourself. Yours, John. All right. So we got to figure out what that is. Looks like an X with two lines. A deal. A weird uh, Greek R. And then an N and M. Cut. Okay, so we'll have that. John Ada. Why did they capital it? Why did she capital? Why did she say Ada like that? There's a switch. Yeah. Okay, everything's. Whoa. So it's blue. That's it. Everything's blue. Did it have reflection earlier? Oh. Son of a bitch. <laughs> there was a painting in here. Is that a oh. Tree apple man woman. Hmm. Huh. It's a little bit of photography, some video game photography here. Jill's admiring the, the painting. I okay, tree apple man woman. Let's write that down.
Tree apple man woman. All right. Okay, nothing I can do anything with there. Is there anywhere else to go down here? I feel like I went down the first door I saw. Oh, jeez. goes. We're hacking. We're hacking. that <laughs> all right so we got b3 open probably a mistake but like, I probably shouldn't be picking up anything unless I know I need it. back here. Oh, hey. This is open now. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead here. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Fuck. Shit, I think our state was a long time ago. Yeah, it was. Okay. It's okay. 
I think there were instances where I could have saved, but I didn't. So we're B1. We know we have to use this. Am I still holding the Magnum? Probably get rid of that. Not get rid of it, just... So we're on basement level three. That's nice to know. So we have to figure out what the uh, what the password is. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's a good thing we died. Uh, not often we say that. Okay. So what's our So is it M O It's the last two letters. An R and an M. Mole. All right, nice job. So it's mole. Okay, cool. So we can get them both. There's another herb in here. If we need it for the... Uh... So that's what the blue light is for, is to figure out that. Gotcha. All right. So. Doing just some extra saves, just because we're kind of like knocking some things down. Okay, so we want to go back this way.
let's get in here and see what we need. So I think if they're not facing me, I can, if they're not, I don't know. We're in caution, so probably can't get grabbed again or shouldn't get grabbed again, but we'll save once we're done doing this. Because there's plenty of, uh, there's plenty of heals around, so. Probably going a little overdrive with these. Okay, so we should just zoom right in here. We'll uh, we'll go into that first room, pick up the heal, or pick up the herb and do it like a heal to get back up because we know we have three in this next room. So I might switch to the Magnum and use that. I'll probably use the Magnum for the room we just unlocked. Um, we don't have much to backtrack if I do die here, so it's fine. Passcode output machine. If I had a mode disk, I could get the code. Passcode one. I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and you have not withheld your son, your only son, Genesis 2216. Passcode one has been filed. Oh, sweet. Can't use it here. Okay. So I have to find the second one, which is probably in the other room that we just unlocked. If, if this game makes any sort of sense. Let's see what this is. This is a map. Vax. Okay. To the general manager of sanitation division. From the special committee on disasters. Raccoon, oh, disasters, raccoon, special research department. This memorandum is strictly confidential and must be destroyed as soon as it, uh, it is understood. Regarding the T-virus outbreak, which occurred recently, this committee conducted a field survey. 
According to the survey results, estimates on the amount of damage caused by the accident are considerably greater than the report earlier, reported earlier. First, although it is very difficult to obtain accurate data in terms of actual numbers, it is thought that more than half the researchers died after exposure to the T-virus. The body count will most likely increase since nearly all of the survivors show symptoms peculiar to the T-virus. Second, our security system is still in operation. However, our special security guard squad has been nearly destroyed. Because of that, research information considered by our company to be top secret has been made available to outsiders. Countermeasures should be taken as soon as possible. Finally, many of the subjects from the experiment have escaped and are out of control. We believe that some researchers were killed by these subjects and their bodies were mutilated. By curious coincidence, these events are proof of the success of our research. However, there is also a very high risk that this news may be leaked to the press if we don't act immediately. The condition is very serious. Our operation to cover up the situation is difficult to attain. However, we hope the problem will be solved quickly. We are especially concerned that the state police and STARS are intervening too quickly. We need to act on this situation as well. Cool. All right. How many bullets do I have left? I have three bullets. Okay. I didn't realize there's going to be four in here, so that's it's good that we have that. So now I need to go upstairs. Wrong way. Wrong way. I'm going to go up this door, take a left, go up the stairs. I think the two zombs are still there. three to four shots to get them down. We'll see what's in here. I don't hear anything. In here come, it does not seem to be operational. Unfamiliar physics symbols are written. There's a panel. <sighs> Projector. So I have a button right now. Okay. Guess we gotta push the button. Okay. I don't know what I was expecting, but it really wasn't that. That's it, that's here. Oh, I need the slides. Okay.
I really thought the tank controls would be difficult to deal with in this game, but really just it just takes a few minutes of playing and you're good. Pretty much. Like I don't feel like I feel like the first day it was it was a bit of an adjustment. But I don't think that since then it's been too bad. I kind of like have an idea of what I'm doing now. All right, Umbrella Bioweapon Materials. MA-33 Cerberus. FI-3 Neptune. MA-121 Hunter. T-002 Tyrant. Bioweapon Research Institute R&D Staff. Just some dudes. Oh my god! It's Albert Wesker. Oh, okay. Because who else would wear sunglasses indoors? No, man. That motherfucker. Hopefully I don't need anything before going in this lab. There's a dude. shells. Actually, let me reset this room. That was a red herb. Okay. Let me reset this room. Was the last time I saved.
Okay, it was before we pushed that button. Gotcha. I need that note anymore. side, can I? No. Push it once, just so it's not. Sure. What could go wrong? Shit, I only have one open spot now. Passcode two. It will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will take the possession of the cities of their enemies. Genesis 22, 17. All right, so we got both passcodes. Are we ready for anything that's on the other side? 
We are now. Oh. Okay. Oh, shit. Bullshit. Uh, I need, I need, I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do. I have both the passcodes. Oh, so do we, now can we open this? Did I already take this one? Okay, so now we can open that. Is that what that means? That's, uh, okay. Let's go back upstairs. I think I should be safe to do this because everything reset. Let's go upstairs and grab an herb and we'll take that. I wasn't expecting to get, uh, secret hallway. I have to turn around real fast. Nice. Like, I don't mind the fact that the controls are kind of a little bit difficult, kind of a little bit, uh, that, that it's a little bit not the easiest to control. Um, cause I do, I do think it makes each combat combat scenario, uh, that much more like intense. So I'm reading the, uh, we're almost done. Actually, we're almost done. Um, back by the red door, go back through the door and go straight ahead. Huh? not this room right we've already been in here i think we want to go back into the red room because we've opened both doors i said go back through this door or back through this room 
All right. All right, so we have been through here. But I don't think we really explored this. Oh, that's right, because that's where we found that. Okay. Off of me. I'm going to take that uh, double green herb that I made and use that now. Oh, this isn't the safe room. I was expecting it to be a safe room. That's my fault. This door is the safe room? Yep. Cool. Oh, hey, green herb. I think combining it with blue. Oh, no, I can combine it with the red from the other room. Okay. I think it would be a good idea to load up on shit. So let me, um, this Sorry, I'm reading the guide. Do I have a CD-ROM in here? Or do I have another thing in here? I don't know 
where the third one is. Yeah, it just says uh, before we leave this room, make sure we have the final CD, and I don't, I don't have it. So, oh, we saved one. Okay. Well, we'll see what we got going on next. Apparently the monsters in this side are pretty fucking wild. Yep. Okay, so that's where the last one is. Oh, jeez. He's, he's down. Okay. I think we'll just go to the elevator now. So we couldn't open that door, it seems, because I don't have the third disc. So we'll deal with the repercussions. I could, I could have easily avoided that. <laughs> We just did that. Find the terminal and switch it on. I did that. get it I uh, I flipped the switch so why why uh... I'm confused here oh what the fuck
Okay, so I just activated it. Okay, that's just set dressing. Understand. There's this room up here that I didn't go through on the second floor. Or was it the first floor? I'm so confused. Let me try going there first. Yeah, I'm just so confused. Like, why is this not working? So I think just going down the hallway, getting fucking fucked by that first one. Yeah, I, I don't understand why it's like not operational. Okay, that's our emergency exit. I see. Uh, this is just going to be exploratory. Put me to fine. 
I just want to like recheck some stuff because I'm like okay no I think we used everything here Basement level one, helicopter port, executives and government officials, only helicopter port. This restriction may not apply in case of an accident. Passage to the helicopter. No one is allowed to enter unless they are attended by a research consultant or security director. All others will be shot on site. Elevator, the elevator stops during emergencies. Basement level two, visual data room. Visual data room is within the control of special research division. Keith Arving, the room manager, is designated to have jurisdiction over room usage. <laughs> Basement level three, prison. Sanitation division controls the usage of the prison. Consultant researchers E. Smith, S. Ross, and A. Wesker must be present if virus is used. Triple lock door. No one is allowed to enter unless he presents all passcode documents. Passcode documents must be created on the specialized output machine by the chief researcher of each block. Power room. Only headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply if the consultant researcher has applied special instructions. Uh, no one is allowed to use the passcode output machine of the chief researchers. Based on four top secret regarding the progress of Tyrant after the use of T virus remaining document is unreadable. <laughs> Okay. So we're just finding out general information here. Um, so we got the key. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, it sucks because this guide is just not helpful. have the third CD-ROM which apparently isn't down here so I'm not sure where it is Panel cement and power.
I swear if it works now, I'm going to be real annoyed. Do I need to go back to the computer? I'm confused why it doesn't want to work. Okay, that guy's gone. I wasn't following the guide when I was on the computer, so I don't know if... Okay, so there's nothing else on this floor to unlock, or there's nothing else to unlock with a computer. I'm so confused. Why is not... So the power switch is flipped right now. I'm confused. Have I not done something? and uh, see what's going on. So I'm just like backtracking through rooms. I don't know why the elevator... isn't working. take a break and see if we can figure out what's wrong uh, or what I need to do or what I haven't done. So um, recording, I'll be back in a few minutes. 
uh, I'm also going to use the bathroom. So, uh, stream, uh, you'll go to BRB. So, I'll be back. All right, recording, we're back. Uh, we are clearly not in that hallway. We I just loaded up the save state um, because I found out what I need to do. <clears throat> and you guys will find out how fucking stupid I am. Or, if you already knew, you already knew. So, let's go do the power room. Hopefully I can get through this without having to use... Got through those two guys. I think now we need to head. This way. Oh god, he jumped on my fucking back. Smacked me inside the head. What the hell's that? That's all I needed to do. Just go into this room. Just go into this room. See if we can get through these two rooms without uh, dying. Okay, one out of one. Hopefully the zombies haven't returned. Okay. All right, now we can load up for this next bit. This should be the last uh, bit of the game. So let's, let's see here. Um, swap this for the... Bazook. I don't know what's in it. Uh, I have six explosive rounds. Let's use those. Let's rearrange these. Okay. I want to rearrange my stuff. I'm like... Okay. So that... Let's grab our heels. Let me actually try to go upstairs and just kind of get back to full health. Oh, I have a green herb. Never mind. That's exactly what I, what I wanted. So we'll use that. And then I have nothing in the shotgun. Should we use flame rounds or acid rounds? I don't know. Maybe we should use the combat. I have plenty of acid rounds, so we'll just carry those. Okay, now we're up to fine, so we can probably take like two hits. 
I swear if we need anything, I'm gonna be so annoyed, but here we go. I have nine shots from the Magnum and uh, 19 shots from the Bazook or the Python, I should say, not the Magnum, but the Python. Jill! Barry! Jill! You're here, too! Yes, you're here, too? Look, uh, I lost my way. Let's get going. It's like she didn't even care. It's like she didn't even acknowledge the I lost my way. Make you did a fine yeah. job, Barry. Just as what? I thought. I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. You're a pig. Well, you don't have to worry about anything, because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Yeah. Why do you have yeah. to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. <sighs> That's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mentioned mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! Barry, no. Oh, Barry, don't do it. Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes, though both you and Barry seemed to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl, but if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. All right. Oh, <gasps> Barry! Yeah! Barry! Sorry, Jill. How is your family? Uh, I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. So it's all been masterminded by him. But it's good that you know that now. Anyway, let's get out of this house first. Jill! Yes, what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? Well, he was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon, called Tyrant or something, I, I think. Or Do something, think I think. I've just been tyrant reading about it for now? the last six hours. Mary, you're so optimistic. It would look bad for stars if we let such a dangerous creature run loose. Maybe you're right. Let's go then. <sighs> Maybe you're right. No, fuck that. Let's get out of here.
Nimagad. Can a creature like this really be the ultimate biological weapon? Really? Wesker is a crazy man. Tyrant is not completely developed. But we can't let it live. That must be the computer for monitoring this creature. Barry, what are you going to do? I don't know when it's going to, when we're going to get control. Okay. So we'll get to see Barry get killed a bunch. I can't control what it does. Oh God. That's it? Not even a, f a what? <laughs> Barry? Barry? Okay. Jesus Christ. Not just a six shots with the Magnum or with the Python? I'm really Embarrassed. I was clumsy. Let's get going. I brought all that healing, all that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking everything and it what just I just Wesker? needed the, the python the triggering system has now been activated all Wesker must have set it off there's not much time left for us and now we gotta head all the way back to the first floor Oh God, the little fucker. Jesus Christ, those little things are so fucking creepy. <laughs> Save one for 
anything coming up. Actually. Alright. Let me equip the shotgun real quick. Okay, Hurry. never mind. Barry's here. Just in case there's anything else along the way. Okay, it's going to do it for me. We're gonna escape. I should have, uh, I should have saved. So I think I should do one shot and then run. Yeah, I totally knew he was coming back. <laughs> I totally knew. Yeah, we'll use the fast forward.
Christ. Jesus Christ, he's just molly whopping me. It's coming! Jill. Great. Kill that monster! Come our Amazon, Jill! Fuck! I forgot to do a save state too. God, how am I. Jesus Christ, he's so fast. Like, can I just tank it? Should I be using the boomstick? Hurry! Or do I just need to survive to 30 seconds? This is Brad. Let me check the uh Oh, so we just need to survive the 30 seconds. Hit the wrong button. Is 
Let's see if I can just run around for 30 seconds if Brad still throws down the, uh... Oh, shit. He's gotten me three times before he can even fucking get up. Awesome. That was wicked. He like hit me and I like slid right to the fucking bazooka. <laughs> Excellent. Oh. And here's the ending. Wait up for me, even uh, today, uh, eldest daughter. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't worry about that. I know he must still be alive. That was, uh, that was Resident Evil. Um, okay. You know, I, we finished this in, uh, just around eight hours. I think two, three hour sessions, and this is a two hour session. Um, if I had to play over again, I don't know that I would do, I would probably do some things quicker. Um, but I think I'm, I'm very happy, happy that, uh, um, 
I was I did this on emulator and I was using save states because I definitely think in part two there's a lot of sections where I wouldn't have fucking I wouldn't have gotten through it like all the hunters I I wouldn't have gotten through all that um so that was that was uh this first tyrant that first tyrant fight was cake man we never saw chris we never saw chris we didn't have the third cd rom so i couldn't free chris um and there it is oh that was that was so fast couldn't even like do it all right Total time, six hours, three saves. That's it. Is there anything else? That's it, I guess. Um, and I guess we'll just do like way down here. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. That was fun. Um, there's definitely some frustration at times in the game, for sure. Um, I just want to see what this is. Is this just like a new... We have once again entered the world of survival horror. Good luck. Oh, okay. Is and this, this is just we're wow. just at the very what a mansion. Okay. We'll skip through this. Okay. So we'll just oh. Oh, that doesn't exit the game. Okay. Um, yeah, so let me, uh, let me just let this reset and, uh, yeah, I, uh, I enjoyed that. That was, that was fun. Um, some things could have been a little bit better. Some things, I think there's just some jank with it. So I'm glad to have played it. Um, obviously next step is to play Chris, um, but I don't know if I'm ready to do that. I think I'm kind of, I'm not, I'm not itching to jump back into this, uh, by any means. So I think we're just going to kind of leave resident evil in October. Um, Yeah. Um, I know I said at the beginning of this, we'll probably jump to Resident Evil 2 next, but um, kind of not. I, I, I've started uh, Chicago Bears um, season in Madden on Tuesdays, and then they go to YouTube on Sundays. So um, that's what I would have done instead or that's what I, that's what i've done on tuesdays is just finishing resident evil 2 um but since it's we got one week left in uh october we're gonna i have a couple of ideas on what we can what we're gonna do next week um so we'll see what i end up deciding um Yeah, if we didn't have our little incident last week where we lost our CPU and had to wait a whole week. Um, 
then maybe we would have if we were able to do it last week we would have done it and then we probably would have could have started resident evil 2 um but yeah i think that's where we'll kind of leave resident evil um yeah if likely next october we'll pick up resident evil 2 um if at some point i feel like replaying resident evil 1 that's open um but yeah that's uh that's all for resident evil um hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh the playing the frustration the shooting of zombies um because i did have some fun with this it's th there's definitely some jank it does make me excited more excited to play the remake which i do have on on ps4 or ps5 um so maybe I might hop into that in my spare time just to get, just because I think, I think there's some fun that I can have there. Um, so, yeah. Um, next week I'll see what we end up doing. Um, I have some ideas, so we'll see which one I go with. But, uh, yeah. Thank you, anyone, for joining. And I will see you next time. Uh, bye bye. <laughs>